about to go into a COVID vented patient's room. So I'm gonna turn this lovely machine on. Pull it down. So I'm about to go into a COVID patient room who's not on the ventilator, just on like five having aerosol. So I've got to wear this fun mask. Oh, it in the back. So uncomfortable. I hate wearing that thing. Where's my face? And I know I can breathe in it, but after a couple hours, or after a couple hours in a code or 45 minutes in a CT, it really feels like I can't. So we transferred a patient out of the critical care COVID section today and into a regular med search. So that's a win. We like it when we get to move somebody out of the ICU and to a regular. So we just had to withdraw care on a COVID patient we've been taking care of for over a month. And um, it's really tough because you get to know the family so well because you're the only link that they have to the patient because right now it's just not safe for them to come in here it's not safe for them, it's not safe for the staff because we don't know what they're, if they have COVID and they're coming in. So it's just, it's really hard when you develop that rapport and then have to give them the bad news. I was done for the week, but with the rising numbers and um, not having the staff for that because we don't normally have to staff for that many patients, uh, everyone's pulling overtime. So here we go, four or four. Okay, so I don't even know what day this is for me, but I am now leaving the hospital after working 16 hours because we're short and the patients are super sick and you just can't do it on your own. And it takes a lot of team effort and team coordination and signing off. And I'm so tired, I'm not even making sense, but the hospital's full. We're slammed and I'm just grateful that I have a good team to work with and I don't mind staying a little extra if it helps the patients and my team, but I am tired. 16 hours is a very long day. So I'm sitting here in my car after working 16 hours and I just don't think that anyone really understands how hard this is like there's nothing you can do to help them and you do the best you can but I just wish people would start taking this seriously because we're tired and we want to help but there's just nothing that we can do that's gonna help These are some cards that a little girl made and dropped off at the hospital for our patients in the ICU. It's actually my patient's granddaughter. Isn't that cute? These are the ones we have in a break room, but there's one posted at every window to cheer up the patient. For today, we've done CPAP trial, CT scan, EEG, uh, rounding with physicians. I've done a tele-ID consult where we satellite in a doctor from MUSC. And now I'm about to try and start another IV and that's all just on one of my patients. And it's only two o'clock. The patient today is not doing so great. They developed something called crepitus, which is where air pockets in the subcutaneous tissues. Um, it's much better than it was when I had them yesterday, but it's not that great. And that happens with the, the high volume that COVID patients have to take in on the ventilator.
beautiful my Beatrix, as you can see. And then this is the ventilator that they're also on. There's a lot going on in here today. In case you can't talk, this is the Elvad machine, which is basically this tube that goes into the heart that has a little motor on it that sucks blood in and pushes it out um, to help your cardiac output. My patient today, I'm so excited about this. They developed um, some perfusion issues where their leg started turning purple from the machine that was helping them, um, which meant that we had to wean it down and wean it off, which is, some, which is sometimes common. But let me tell you, there is no joy <laughs> like taking the pressure off of that leg and seeing it turn from purple to a beautiful pink with beautiful pulses. It's the small victories. <laughs> We just coded a patient for over an hour. There were three nurses taking turns doing compressions. Uh, the patient didn't make it. The sad thing is we don't even have time to process that because there is a cardiac arrest rolling in right behind it. I just needed some water before we hit the ground running again. It's been 24 hours post-vaccine. feel good. My arm got a little sore last night, but uh, today it feels fine. I feel good. Get vaccinated.